I'm in the middle of nowhere in the jungle trying to get a car started. Not really get it started, but we got to pull off an ECM for his craze. My cousin, y'all know he went to the military. So uh, I'm going to help him try to get his car up and running. I told him I would. Um, we got to SOP non tree turbo. So he thinks he could keep up with the uh, the Cabot. Oh, it's you badge. As y'all can see right there. Swab. All right, guys. I uh, brought a couple tools. Top down scanner. Uh, I'm sorry. Launch scanner. Top down jump box. And then some tools. So I brought my little guy with me. So I need to pop this hood. I first want to see what all I can read. If I can communicate with this car. Some scan tools, they cannot communicate with SOP. So I'm going to hook the jump box up. And then we're going to scan it and see... Because he is going to get a new ECM. We got to send this one in first. And then uh, I got to marry the ECM to this vehicle. And if not, then I have to get a hold of one of my contacts and make it happen. So let's do it. open and uh i got painted <laughs> uh gotta love the texas and what the texas does to us okay so bust this out oh shoot come on velcro i don't even know if this thing is has juice last time i used it it's kind of low on juice. Get the OBD2 out. Guys, I love how this thing is packaged. We have the VI right here, just like a PC cable. Or every, just about every OBD2 cable. So we'll screw it in and go connect it to the vehicle. Now, what's great about this is it is wireless. So I could actually be outside and still be able to communicate with the inside. So now I'm gonna have to, oh shoot. It'd be smart if I close this part first, right? Of course, I don't have much sunlight out. Because I like to procrastinate and do stuff late. Now, okay, so this is not going to be a video for Top Don. Just simply using it because that's what I have. Um, if y'all want to see that video, go ahead and click up in this corner. Click right there. And uh, y'all can see how well this thing worked. Now. That launch scanner is what I'm more interested in this video. Am I hooked up backwards? I sure in the hell did, guys. That's why it is so important that these things have the smart, the smart module. That would have been a uh, bad. So I got power going Get to this it. thing fired up. Oh, I'm only at 14 volts. Cancel. Uh, okay, let me power on the car. Am I some sort of retard? Hold on. Would have helped if I turned on the scan. What? Oh, there we go. All right. We have that. Let's see what we got on our scanner. Okay, so we are reading 2007 SOBs. Do a diagnostic scan. And. 07, I think. Keep having to turn that on. That's the thing. Uh, wish uh, I wish it would provide power all the time. Sub, no, reconnect. This is gonna suck. Sub 93, engine, ECM. Come on, baby, let's do this. Let's go. 
Okay. Vehicle actuation, special function. Idle, EGR, no. Damn. Reconnect it. And go back. Additional function. <sighs> now I don't think, unless it's because I'm not subscribed, I don't have the full subscription. But yeah, I need to, I, I have to be able to marry this ECM to the vehicle. I don't know if, if I, um, but it does scan and I am able to do certain things with it. So, I mean, this is straight out of the box without any subscription. Other scanners are not able to read this, like the little launch diag readers and stuff. Uh, but this one is able to do some stuff with the, uh... oh my goodness. But it is able to do some stuff with SOP. So let's get that ECM out and then we'll wrap up this video. Now, the thing about it is, guys, I am not able to fully go through with this because I don't have SOP subscription. Um, is that the scanner's fault? No, it's my fault. Because... You know, that is a special function that you obviously need to pay for. And this is an 07. So <laughs> if y'all know, older vehicles are getting harder to work on. They're getting harder to program and everything. There's not even a Saab dealer in town that I can take it to. We need Tech 2. Do I have access to it? No, I don't. But anyways, we're going to pull that off. And first and foremost, I don't know how. This guy... <laughs> Tuck the module into the stock filter housing. <laughs> uh, he said, be careful with my connectors. They are brittle. Is that metal? Hold on. Alrighty, guys. This is a little scary because I don't want to break his connector. But it's all dusty and stuff. Come on. Come on, baby. Get into place. Okay, that one's free. Let me get this one free. Okay, I was able to. Man, that was a that was quite quite a challenge. Not one of my best, but you get 10 mils. Get this boost line out the way. 10 mils. There's a ground wire right here, I believe. And um, I'll just leave the bolts up there. So any Chevy Techs in the central region, central region, Texas area, if y'all could please reach out to me. My email. My email's on the page if y'all could help us out. Um, help me out with this. I mean, you know, give me a price on when we get the module, how much it's going to be to program on the side. I'm not talking about doing it at the shop because <laughs> obviously we're stuck in the backyard. So if y'all could please help me out. <clears throat> so we're going to pop these three tins. And hopefully I don't have to take this bracket off. Oh, he just painted that cover and I laid my tool on it. Sorry, cuz. I'll, I'll use a, some, <laughs> I'll use a Sharpie to. No. Oh, there's another 10. Can I sneak? Yeah, I'm gonna sneak it. Now, Fluff, why, do, why ain't you going to put the ECM today? Well, I got to ship this one out for core. Here we are, guys. ECM module for a 2007 Saab 93 Big T with the turbo. All right, guys. That's going to be it for today's video. If y'all could please like, comment, share, subscribe. Turn post notification bells on. Jam, guys, help me out with this if you can. And uh, this will be part one because we're going to make sure this gets up and running. Deuce. You don't wanna fuck with me A slow burn like a disease Just tell me that I can and show you things That you couldn't believe